Arena for Historic Night for Gridiron in South Australia, the 20th Gridiron South Australia Grand Final. For the past two decades, South Australia has celebrated full-on, full-contact American football. And it's appropriate in our 20th Grand Final to have two of the original clubs participating, the Southern District Oilers and the East Side Razorbacks. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, there is a third team with which there cannot be a game, and they are our officiating crew. Will you please make welcome tonight, Field Judge Andrew Gregory. Side Judge, Judy Bolba. Line Judge, Grant Peeler. Head Linesman of the Sport and Cup. Head Referee, Grant Martin. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Sakawa, the official association, would like to play tribute to Daryl Argent. He has been a member since the inception of Crude Island in South Australia and has made a significant contribution, not missing one single season of the 20 years of the sport here in South Australia. He has a total number of 443 Gaza games, 204 of those are umpires, involved in countless senior and junior the state games, the Grand Prix Gold, and of course the senior nationals. Also involved in the junior competition at SA, actively encouraging people to come along and try officiating. This takes him to well over 500 games in the sport of gridiron. No one else in this state can lay claim to such a distinguished career. Tonight we thank him for giving up so much of his time and effort for the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, your umpire tonight, Mr. Darrell Argent. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the teams. Starting off with the home team tonight, they hold an Australian record, 13 state titles. They come into this game as the minor premiers on a 20-game winning streak. They are, put simply, the powerhouse of Australian gridiron. Please make welcome the East Side Razorbacks!
And then we ask that both teams please line up on their 40 yard line with the cheerleaders. And ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please be upstanding for the national anthem. And after that, we'll ask the teams to go to the sideline and we will have the coin toss. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem.
Third 11, Stevens number 11, keeps the ball, he's under pressure, now he's got blocked. Got a bit of time. Scotty Weir in pursuit. And having out about 80 yards sideways, gets back to the original line of scrimmage, but it could have been a lot, lot worse for the Oilers. So rather than give it up, deep in their own territory, team's usually pumped. And back that for the Oilers is number 23, Jared Anderson, waiting for it, Mark Sepi at number two, and Brian Murray at number six. Anderson into the wing. And we'll go to bounds, no return on the play. For the first time tonight, it's the Razorbacks ball. They'll start off at the Oilers 37. So the first time on this side of the ball, in good field position, first down and 10, the Oilers 36. In that quarterback number 16, Mark Yeager. He does not like what he sees. And then it means it's time for a time out. Alright, the order. Razorbacks taking the time out to get this one right. First offensive play of the game. First down, 10 to go. At the order, 36 yard line. Now you got the quarterback, hands up to our step, and he runs into a wall. Number 50, Ken Gordet. Long time veteran of the club. Second down and third end to go. Second end off line there at Lydia and Greek tries to break the corner. And we're going maybe one. Head to head, these teams have played 55 times. And that is what they're aiming for tonight. Third and long. Jagger will have to buy some time and unloads downfield into traffic. And manages to miss everybody. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Keeps him to himself and will gain a yard. We'll bring up third down and line. 
Ball three pounds this year. So right now the all is third down at yards to go. Stevens back in the shotgun. Throws it back to send on that. Good game on the play of about five, six yards, but still short of the first down. We'll bring up fourth down decision for the Southern District Orders. Long good against the Hogs this season. Here in the big game wall, the grand final. Fourth and two, Oilers are going through, only two yards to keep the ball. Call themselves a timeout here, a big play coming up. Fourth down and two, Jared Anderson is back to come. It's a big away into the wing, heading to the sideline, Matt Wakes for another third and five. The Razorbacks get the ball, but the penalty will push them back. So the Razorbacks. Offense back on the field, in at centre number 54, Simon Pollock. Gets his big middle on the hand on the ball. Quarterback Mark Yeager making some changes. Gets a good exchange. Getting some good time for his line and goes deep. It's looking for Matt. Oh, just out of the trunk. Good defensive. Good defensive at number 11. It's Ben Steve as you go along so you can understand a great game of American football. So, here comes the centre. He's the one that's in the middle, so he's the centre. Put back, gets a good exchange, gets a push on the outside, finds number 80, Brendan Pete, takes it over two seconds, first inside, no pressure inside, and he's got all the balls and rolls, and he recovered the spark out of Sapio, the set up play, put it back, will knock her out here, here comes the coach, let's turn up some music soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then they end up in the end zone, that's where you score your points. Right now, first and ten rows of us. They are the quarterback again, it's a bias from Colin, under pressure from Colin. It's out of front of the line, still Colin, Colin under pressure. And just before he goes, they get the pass away to Alan Hicks. He's going to go down, it's still going to be a loss. Might have been a wonder. Maybe not make the pitch. Incomplete pass means it goes back to the original line of scrimmage, but this quarter. This is the Razorback second series. They did score a touchdown on their opening drive. Oh, Razorback! Oh, Razorback! Nice couple across the field. They've got a receiver in the side. And also one running back. Like I said, they're number two. They've got lines on up close right in the middle of the field. Looking at well batted away. Oh, it's quarterback in counterpart who doubles up on defence, number 11, Ben Stevens. Intended for number two, Australian Fire, taking on Western Australia. The best of Australian good on here in Adelaide. Make sure you're here for the Nationals. Boons for now. The Nagas to the air again, pressure from the Oilers, the friends of gets the pass away, and for him. And Stevens wraps him up like a first day present. And that's Miller with the catch. Reception is good, but still well short of the first down marker. It's usually based on the last time Razorbacks are in this position. That's the bonus of having your quarterback as the punter. And there he goes back. Nagy kicks it away, it will take a reasonable Razorback bounce inside the 10. Oh, it's touched it! Now Sapio picks it up! That is a touchdown! Oh my! Sapio is 
fast game and he just got an amazingly rap present to score the touchdown. 12 nil Razorbacks. We're going to put the dominance on this one early. 50 seconds after the first quarter, here comes the point after attempt. Miller with the kick, and that will not be good enough. Yellow pole, Scotty, the yellow pole! Number 23, Anderson. And also number 82, Isaac Edwards. Now Isaac Edwards has come up from the junior program. If you think you might want to play junior gridiron, why not contact your local club? Down the middle. That's quickly coming. Only a tackle there. Number 72. That's wise. Goes to tackle. We have a flag down. The flag down the middle. Oh, this is a cool. There's a course. He was against the all time. Bring me the hand. 57 blue. Hang out. Penalty. Back down. What happened there is what? Oh, if he pushes back to you. First down and 10 miles. And the last plays of the first quarter coming up here. Stephen Barnett Fletcher, and that is a sack. Scotty McCarter, number 21. And at the moment, momentum wholly and solely with the east side Razorbacks. The all is back to the 13-yard line. Round, round, we ride round, we ride round like a wreck baby, ride round, round. Of course, both teams would like to thank their sponsors who help get on the field each week. Eastside Razorbacks would like to thank Allen's Auto Marine Centre and Century 21, Diamond Conveyors, SA Linen Service, and Crossroads Wesleyan Methodist Church at Mawson Lakes. The Southern District's Oilers, they would like to thank their sponsors, Southern Dingo, Genius Williams Opals, Abbott Printers and Stationers, and Greener Than Green. Second quarter about to get underway here. Oilers with the ball. Trailing oh by 12 God. at their 12. Second down and 20. Oh Steve on the shot now. Lines up and there's a catch. Number 82 for the Oilers. Isaac Edwards. He's down and 10. Run for the outline. See if he's going to cross the field. Two runs out back. Stevens decides to keep. And what just misses the hand for that? Scott Pelly, number 75, was the first one. Legal motion. Then the offense, Premier is declined. Second down. So players like that, the team penalised. Razor backs are quite happy to take the one play, the one yard loss. Instead of giving the Oilers four more plays, so second down and 11. In the first minute of the second quarter. And again movement and again the play. second down. So then you saw them today, full start there, all the players on the offensive team have to be set at least dead still for one second before the ball is snapped. There's a few exceptions to that rule, if it's a man in motion, of course the quarterback needs to move to take the ball. Quarterback Stevens getting some good time, now he finally gets knocked out of the pocket, looks behind him, he finds the cover, the ball's loose, and that's been recovered by the Oilers. Oh, my car is all over in tonight. ...field to get this first down to position of the ball. They've lined up with four receivers across the field, one runner out back. Stevens with a hand off, huge hole for Reeves to run up the middle. And there's a collision, still backfield. Stops that run, good run by the Oilers, going 10 yards. Wayne Merritt, Mark Alsepian. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
And the Oilers aren't punting, they're going for it. He's 13 yards to keep the ball. Stevens lines up and goes for Edwards. And flag on the play. Flag on the play. So this time tonight, Southern Districts are in Razorbacks territory. First and ten. That's a hot 47 yard line. It's by far the only first side of the match that's right. They can't watch well. So they start in the room for the football. Stevens pitches for Castanelli. He takes off down the far side and press the corner. He's got some yardage going. And for the first time tonight, the Oilers have got good yardage on first down. The back cheerleading squads to entertain you. And they put a lot of work into their grand final routine, so make sure you stick around for that. Second down and four for the Oilers. Daniel Reeves up the middle, charges, and he's going to be close. Maybe just shy. You can see the quarters this year against the Razorbacks. They have not scored a brass or a zoo. But now they're inside the 40, first and 10 at the 37. James Grills with the reception. Down to reason number 42, play juniors for the Rivers. Wise break. Reaching the halfway stages of the second quarter. Stevens in the shotgun. And this time down to Wise almost had the interception. He's getting into the game. And it's great to see we've had the juniors. Side. Stevens again going to the air, has to run away from Wise, gets the throw across the pack, Nelly, just trying to break up, and breaks the tackle, takes out the jumpers, the down run at the same time. We know he got close to the first down. Flag on the play. The next route you sneak around and take the helmet off. 15 yard variety. Keep the very face mark, best range back. Five yard penalty for the end of the run. First down. So here come the Oilers, folks. First and ten at the 20. The longest drive of the match thus far. Don't forget the Razorbacks have scored both their touchdowns on fourth down plays. First and ten. Stevens goes for the bounce, that's a run around the corner, now he goes so if this occurs, comes around. And it's sure there's no gain, maybe a loss on the play. Last oh, week Stevens on quarterback sneak foot. This drive for the Oilers, they've done well, but they want to get some points out of this series. Get back in the ball game, second and twelve. Hands off to Sprules, number 42, across the 20-yard line, down to the 19, and the Oilers are in the red zone. Now, although it's green and the end zone's red, the red zone is between the goal line and the 20. Got to make the most of it. 